Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently working on taking over all of this territory up here. And our player heir has no spouse. We should probably do something about that. We'll go for a stewardship spouse, ideally a slightly younger one. Uh, he is currently 16, so like this one would do. Okay, perfect. We'll go ahead and go for that. And then we have some wars ongoing over here. Right, we were sieging this and we wanted to keep our troops over here just in case they came this direction. That's what we had going on here. So this will be just fine. I'm not concerned about this in the slightest. We're going to move our siege force up over here as soon as we can, which is now. We're at 58% war score and then we're going to mar march over this way with our primary army. These guys are not a threat to us. Cool. So we see most of their troops over here. Sounds good. We'll just come up over here. Yeah, we're going to take some attrition. That's... It's okay. I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. We gained a manipulation hook. And that's absolutely fine. This war is, of course, over now. And we will go ahead and enforce those demands. So we are going to grant these out to vassals. We'll, of course, be over our vassal limit here pretty soon, so we'll need to do something about that. But for the time being, this is fine. There's these guys out over here that I'm not that concerned about. Sure, extend our patronage. That'll be fine. I think instead of slow sieging this, though, we should probably... Well, I don't know. We should keep our troops fairly close together. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that right now. We need to just get this territory taken over. This is, uh... We, we want to get out of these wars as quickly as we can, is the thing. Okay, so this siege will be done very quickly. Moving around in these mountains is, of course, complicated. And it takes time. So that's okay. Sure, show in the king. Accept your generous gifts. Five more days, and we'll head on up over here. Excellent. Okay, just checking in on what those actual war goals are. That looks fine. One of those wars was invalidated because this guy died. We'll come back to that war, but we won't declare it immediately. We can't with our forces raised, after all. And these guys, at this point, can come down over here. So that'll be just fine. This siege force is actually done, so this war is over. We'll enforce those demands, and we will then head on over here. Let's just head to their capital, and that'll be fine. So we'll wrap up these wars. I definitely want to get this area taken over, so that we don't have to worry about the east anymore. And we can turn our attention purely south and west. So that'll be fine. We do manage to grab ourselves, like, embassies or perhaps even benevolent intent. Or befriend. Actually, groom to rule is what we're going to go with. There we go. Okay, so I would love to stack wipe their army here. I mean, we don't actually have a leader here. He must have died. I would love to get a organizer. That would be perfect for this, but I don't think we have one. Let's see if there's one available. Uh, no, there are no organizers available. So we'll go with a logician instead. Cool. We do require a new spy master, and that will be this guy. He's very upset. Maybe he'll be less upset now that he's a spy master. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. We're going to start sieging their capital very soon here. Selenga Valley. I would like to take a look at some of our other CBs, actually, before we, before we do that. I mean, we're definitely going to continue fighting over here. That's for sure. 100% guaranteed. We're going to get this done. So that will actually end the war. I do expect that. 93. That didn't end the war. Oh, we're already capped on battle war score. Sure. Well, we're going to come down here and this siege will end the war. That won't be a problem. 
Just as soon as we get there, anyway. There's a dangerous faction right now, and we will need to deal with this guy. Oh, this is super easy. There should not be a problem here. Excellent. So there's that dealt with. No problem whatsoever. And we will wrap up this war and enforce our demands there. So be it. And disband our troops. Now, our rival died. That's fine. We're going to take this kingdom here and we're going to grant all of these new vassals over to her. This will be fine. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so next up, we have potential access to Tuva. Are we still truce to this guy? We are. And we don't have access up that way. We could go for Angara. He has too many counties to be forcefully va- I, I was going to say vaccinated, but it's vassalized. I, I don't know why I would say vaccinated. That's a weird thing. There are no vaccines in this time period. <laughs> We're going to grab a duchy up here for a holy war, I think. That'll be fine. He's a little bit stronger, so I think we'll just fight him alone. We'll grab this duchy and raise up our troops and our men-at-arms as well. And we'll take something around 10k troops here. Should be fine. Absolutely no problem there. This is okay. And we'll start heading on him. So these sieges will be done very quickly. I don't expect this war to be particularly challenging, but I want to get this truce on a timer before we start focusing down here. We did win this siege, and so we'll have to head on in and take Kia next. We're still above our vassal limit, and I would like to do something about that. I mean, we could try to hand out... Where do we have a title? These are all duchy level titles. We could toss them into a kingdom, though. We could do something like this. Done. Okay. We're going to run out of those duchy level titles pretty soon. We have pretty much exclusively kingdom level titles underneath us. It's not the worst thing, but we may have to start combining kingdoms together. And we can do that, like, after every uh, rebellion. That's something that we can do. We're definitely getting to the size of unwieldiness in Crusader Kings. There's no doubt about it. There's a certain point where continuing to grow is difficult in Crusader Kings, and we are reaching that point. So we're at 28% war score here. We are uh, not going up as quickly as I'd like, but these counties are not very valuable, so that's not super shocking to me. Oh, hello. A raiding force. Sure. We'll take out a raiding force. There we go. No problem there. Got us some prestige and piety. Fantastic. We'll continue to push through this duchy as quick as we can. We don't have ticking war score just yet, but we've got nearly the whole thing occupied. There's a couple of tribes over here that are going to be a little awkward to get to, but that's fine. We'll take 60 gold. We can change this queen's contract, and actually, we will absolutely do so. Perfect. This dangerous faction is... Peasants? Peasants. Yeah, I'm not concerned about peasants. We're going to ignore the peasantry, as we tend to do. And we'll just finish up this duchy holy war as soon as we can. We're only at 44% right now, but... It's to be expected. These are pretty crappy duchies up here right now. Not very much development. Zero development here? Yikes. <laughs> that is extreme. Zero development. Insane. We are taking attrition up here. This is to be expected. Sure, we'll pay the royal court a visit. And we'll spend six court grandeur. That's okay. No real problem there. We could hold court, but... I mean, I don't know. It's kind of the same events over and over again, and the rewards aren't that great. So, I've kind of stopped holding court. We should probably change that at some point, but for right now, it's okay. I would love to come down here and fight their army. I don't think we catch them. 
However, these guys we catch. And maybe these will turn around. This is their more valuable troops anyway. So that's going to stack wipe. That actually ended the war. Cool. So we get that duchy. And now we're going to have to hand all this out. I don't want to click on me here. I want to do this. There we go. Handing out all of this territory. Quite a number of counties in this duchy. That's for sure. Okay, so now we're going to need the duchy level title. So we'll go ahead and create that. No problem there. And then we'll grant that to this gentleman. He gets the principality. And then he is going to be granted himself to, say, this kingdom. That'll be fine. Cool. So when are those peasants going to be rebelling? Four months? I think we wait on that. So we'll hop over to our capital, and we'll just let those peasants rebel. Eventually, we're going to need to raise up a few troops, and honestly, just our men-at-arms should do. This will be fine. This alliance, we decline, and this ransom, we accept, and this ransom, we decline. Okay. Any moment now, peasants. Two months. This is likely enough troops, given the troop quality. So, let's just see what the peasant rabble wants to do here. I shall remember your kindness. Yes, this ransom is acceptable. This ransom is unacceptable. Okay. Any moment now on the peasant rabble. Come on, peasants. You can do it. You can do it. I'm rooting for you. There they are. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and say never. And we're going to crush this force. Excellent. Very difficult to click through this. There we go. <laughs> and we're going to head up here and crush this force as well. Our troop quality is just so much higher than theirs. Numbers don't really matter that much here. So that's a stack wipe, and if these guys all stacked together, that could be complicated for us. We'll see what ends up happening there. Offer concubine? Okay, sure. I don't really care. Yeah, if they all stack together, this could be a bit much. We may want to raise some additional levy troops here. We're not going to need many. This is plenty. And at this point, we'll just wait for our men-at-arms to turn up. And there we go. They're walking into us on the mountains. Okay. That's questionable. But sure. If that's what they want to do, we'll defend from them on the mountains. They shouldn't do that. <laughs> There's no way that they should do that. So the peasant rabble are dealt with, and we'll disband our troops. Perfect. Okay, we do have a perk available here, and what are we going to take? Adaptive traditions? I mean, flexible truces would be nice to reduce troop durations, or rather, truce durations. That'd be really good. We do have a vassal that we got somewhere, and I don't know where. I'd like to combine these kingdoms together. Actually, this guy's imprisoned by us. We could revoke his title. It is an act of tyranny, but let's go ahead and do that. And then we are going to grant that title to this king. So we're going to grant title of the kingdom and the county. Done. So those, those two kingdoms combined together. Perfect. No problem there. So, next up, this guy is imprisoned. That's fine. Can we do a forced vassalization? No, he still has too many counties. Okay, we could do a, du a duchy conquest, though. Holy War for duchy is doable here. We also have a de jure high chiefdom. Well, that's convenient. Consider it done. And then there's this guy that we were planning to have annexed by now via a forced vassalization. 
And forced vassalization does appear to be the best way to do this. So that's okay. What about this guy? Can we force vassalize him? Actually, we can. Done. This guy, we can just do a holy war for county. And a holy war for county here. Okay. So we'll just start up here and make our way down this direction. That should be fine. We will go ahead and raise up troops. We'll need probably around 20,000. So we'll raise men at arms and we'll raise levy troops. He's going to come in here. We're maybe a little greedy raising here. Let's see how many troops we get. Not enough. Okay. It was a little greedy, to be sure. He can't stack wipe us, but he can stop us from gathering like a jerk. That's okay. So we're going to raise up troops up here next. Where are we actually retreating to? That's quite a ways away. That's fine. I'm not concerned about it. Okay. We're going to go to around 15,000 here. This is good. And in we go. No problem. So, of course, we're in a lot of wars here. We'll need to get these taken care of. That's not a big deal. They're not difficult wars. Well, we did what we could. Okay. Grouping these guys together, we're just going to siege this capital. Now, this kid is in his capital. So that's definitely something to note. And that's fantastic. We're going to head on over here next. Actually, we captured him. Done. So there's that de jure war over. Next up is going to be this war here. So we will head on down to this location. Cool. We'll arrive there in the eventual times. And this is going to get us a lot of territory, actually. Like a whole lot of territory. We're going to be able to go after these guys and Tuva next. Yeah, we're really pushing them back over here. I like it. Our vassals don't seem to be pushing too much over in the west, but that's okay. We have gotten huge land grabs over this way, so that's wonderful. And we're going to have new tech coming in eventually as well, but that'll take some time. We should actually take a look at this. That'll be available in 1200, and then it takes like 15 years to unlock... So it'll be a little bit before we get our maximum tech. Someone was trying to claim our throne. I'm absolutely shocked by this. Wait, no, I'm not. Not in the slightest. <laughs> yep, we'll extend our patronage. We've got plenty of cash. We're not concerned about cash. Ticking war score is starting to turn against us because it took us a while to get here. That's to be expected. And they're sieging down over here. And that is actually this guy. Sure. Gains a pressed claim, huh? Well, he can try. I doubt he'll succeed. I very much doubt he'll succeed. So we'll grab this capital. Where is this guy located? He is actually in his capital. Cool. So we can capture him here. We'll see if that happens. We are currently ill. We probably don't want to be ill. We'll head down over this way. We're at 47% war score. Try a safe treatment. We're a little brighter. We are currently 53. So we do have to keep in mind that uh, things may go downhill for us health-wise soon. We'll get this siege done. Yep, we're no longer ill. That's good. And then we're going to need to head down over this way. Someone else claiming our throne. How rude. Uh, what is this? Independence faction? We'll need to deal with this guy, although... Well, he has a sibling here. Done. I was going to say, he has no children, but that's not actually a problem. Okay, we're going to come over this way and continue to occupy territory. I believe we're going to have Ticking War Score on our side here. Maybe not, but there's more territory we could take. That's for sure. We need to head out over this direction, and we're going to stack wipe this force, and I'm going to split off a siege force at this point. Splitting up our army only makes sense for right now. 
So we're going to put this guy in charge, and I would love to come up here and fight these guys. This battle will likely end this war if we can catch them. They're wanting to go up there, but we're going to catch them. Perfect. Okay, there's another force here, but that did end the war. So there we go. And then these guys are going to head up to here. These are going to head down and take on this force. Now, this independence faction is still brewing here, so we're going to need something. Can we just negotiate with anybody as is? I doubt it, but we should take a look. We're probably going to have to go for some uh, additional marriages, but that's okay. That's not the end of the world under any circumstances. Yeah, not a lot going on here. Not a lot going on at all. What about this guy? Oh, this should be pretty easy. So, granddaughters. We have sons. Okay. So, something along the lines of this. That'll get him out of that faction. Perfect. Alliance formed. That will not disband that faction. So, we're going to need to do something with this guy potentially as well. Or perhaps even this guy. That'll do. Okay. Still at 70%. Oof. Okay. Uh, we could do something here as well, but we're basically out of sons at this point. We could take another concubine. That's something we could do. And actually, yeah, that's fine. We'll go ahead and do that. We would definitely like to have additional children, <laughs> but uh, we're running low on those for right now. We may eventually have to fight an independence faction. In fact, we almost certainly will. But for now, I feel like this is okay. We are also above our vassal limit, and I would like to grant this lady this guy. There we go. Cool. We're going to head on in over here, take care of that. And we're going to continue to siege over this way, I think, up over here. Yes. We fight this force. No problem. Cool. And then we're going to come over here and fight these guys. We need to get these sieges done. This force is potentially threatening to us, but we'll see. Yeah, he's coming in here. He's not actually fighting us, I don't think. Oh, we were involved in that. Okay. Well, our siege force is retreating. Very rude. We're going to head on up over this way. And we'll take care of this force. No problem there. Excellent. We do need a siege commander here, and I would love to put this guy in. We can't until we're done retreating. We're going to come up here and start a slow siege on their capital. That'll be fine. And these guys will get turned around as soon as they can. Any moment now, guys. Any moment now. There we go. We'll get a siege commander in here, as I said, and we're going to come around over to here. We'll arrive there in nine months. That's an awkward path to take. Let's take that path instead. Okay, so this independence faction is still a problem. There's very little that we can do about this guy. What is he angry about? Offensive wars. Fair, fair enough. We've done a few of those. Well... Hmm. Unfortunately, this... Oh, this would get us an alliance. Right, because it's him directly. Done. Cool. There we go. No problem there for a bit. There will be a problem eventually. Let's... Would love to go after this force. Yeah, let's do it. We can still get more war score from battles. So that'll be fine. We can siege just up this axis here. That's not a problem. I'm guessing they're coming over here to try to take back this territory. We do get a new Diplomacy Lifestyle perk, so let's go ahead and take Flexible Truces. Wonderful. 
And it looks like they're going to let us catch them. Perfect. So we'll take that out. No problem. And the question is, does that actually get us enough war score? I doubt it. We'd have to capture their leader. We'll come on down over this way. Yeah, we're walking through att attrition-y territories, but that's fine for now. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that next episode. We'll get this all wrapped up, and eventually we'll have all of this under our control. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.